welcome to the second episode of react and typescript tutorial in this video we're going to learn the basics of react the core principles fundamentals of react in the last video we have set up our react application in this application we have nothing we just have one div with the text hi and in the page we just show the hi so to understand the react app structure uh, let's first focus on the files we have this app.tsx files we have public folder where we have index.html file so this is the entry point index.html we have one root element and inside that root element we have our complete app so when we start developing in react the first thing that you notice what is this app.tsx why it is tsx or if you're using javascript you will have the file name as jsx what is jsx you probably know what is html file in html we write some tags like this to describe our view right and normally in javascript we manipulate the html content right html elements but in react we actually write jsx files jsx file is a combination of html and javascript by the way we are using typescript so the file name is tsx if we use plain javascript the file name will be jsx so the first thing that you notice here that we write html like syntaxes inside javascript files or in this case in typescript files that is called jsx but do you think browser will be able to understand this because browser only understands javascript file it doesn't even understand typescript so what happens when we feed this tsx or jsx files in the browser so when we build the application these jsx files are converted to plain javascript files i'll show you that in a moment if you go to react website you can see that what is react react is just a javascript library for building user interfaces you can see the simple component structure and here it is mentioned that jsx is optional and not required to use in react so react and jsx are two separate things so what happens when we write jsx in react so there is one link uh, babel rpl if you go to that link you can open this uh, babel playground so babel is basically the transpiler or the code that converts jsx to javascript so in babel playground you'll have two window where in the left side you write your jsx code and the right side you will see the converted javascript right so if i write some plain javascript here like let let's say element equals to some string you can see that there is no change here because we are writing plain javascript so uh, babel will not convert to anything else but if i write some html syntax inside this you can notice here i'm writing javascript but inside that i'm putting html like syntaxes and that is a valid jsx syntaxes right and in the right side you can see that babel has converted this jsx into plain javascript and the plain javascript is nothing but react.create element so this is plain react right without jsx so react provides one create element function inside that you can provide the description of how you are going to create the component right so this is just a plain javascript now what happens when i write one component i'm going to copy this app function this is not typescript so i'm going to remove the return type babel has converted and that div high into react.create element so then why are we writing this jsx we can write plain javascript right but the thing is you can definitely see that left side when we write jsx it is much more readable right when you convert it to plain javascript it becomes like uh, you have to write too much code now this is just a simple component if i write something little complex suppose i'm writing another function another component called header nothing fancy just i'm going to return some div called header and in the app component i'm going to call that header and suppose after that header i'm going to add some more texts also we have one element let's call that again now you can see in the right side the generated javascript code is much more complex than the left side in the left side when you write jsx you can clearly see that we have a diff component inside that one header and some texts but in right side it is difficult to visualize like we have a react or create element we are creating a div inside that see this part this line when we are creating the header component that is inside this react.create element function so it is definitely not readable so that's why facebook 
or meta they created this jsx but jsx is not react you have to understand that react is just a core library jsx is a tool that makes your life easier and also one more point here that you might have noticed that we have imported react but we are not actually using this react uh, object here but then why are we importing it if i don't import it if i remove it you can see there is one error here this is a little weird right we are not using react anywhere but still we are importing it the reason is when we convert this code into plain javascript this jsx component right this this jsx component will be converted to react dot create element so that's why we need the react object here actually jsx would be smart enough to automatically import react but this is how it is we have to import react in all the all our jsx files so from now on we're going to write all our code in jsx also i have not seen anybody writing react code without jsx everybody uses jsx it is kind of uh, the ecosystem of react all right so let's understand the structure of react component with a simple javascript function you can create a component and that is the power of react and that is why react is so popular you create a component just by writing a javascript function you have a function and you return something you return the jsx element and that becomes a component now i'm going to write some complex component now i'm going to return just a div called this is error i'm going to use that header inside that app now see what is happening here we created a component small component header we created another component app and in app component we're composing the header okay if i if i write header twice this is the way you reuse the code we create a component and you can use that component multiple times so this is the simplicity of react see we have a function called header and that function name becomes the component name in other frameworks you have to specify the component name and all but in react just a function name becomes a component name that is why it is so simple so we have a called header component twice but let's say we want to have a different behavior in your component for example for the first header component that is fine for the second header component maybe i want to call it header one something like that but i also want to reuse the component right for that reason react component provides uh, something called props or properties uh, when we create a react component we can provide some properties so here in this header comp component suppose i want to pass some property called name this is header and for the second header i'm going to pass name as header one if we want to push uh, javascript inside the html like syntax uh, we can use these curly braces and inside the curly braces you can write any valid javascript like header one plus something like dash so this part is a javascript code so this is how we can uh, mix javascript inside the jsx syntax and this name property so this header component should accept this name property and do something with it right so how can we accept it that is also really intuitive like here is a function so if i pass something inside that function you should accept that as a argument right so this header will accept some arguments like props so this props is the object that contains all the properties as we are writing typescript we have to provide the type also let's write some interface called header props i can call it header props or header type only name and that is a string props is a type of header type now that we have the name property we can use it here so instead of saying this is a header we're going to ins we're going to push some javascript inside the div tag right so we will use curly brace inside that we're going to use props dot name we have header dash and header one so this is how we pass the props inside the component also we're not going to use this props object instead we're going to destructure this object and we'll get 
the name variable here directly so here we are restructuring the props object we are extracting the variables and so here the name is a variable so i have created a video about uh, destructuring in es6 you can watch that if you want to know more about destructuring how it works so that's it this is how component works in react in the next video we're going to use this kind of component structure to create something to create some some form of uh, ui so if you have found something useful in this video please hit like and also if you want to support this channel please subscribe so this is just the beginning this is the second episode we'll have more than 10 episodes i guess thanks for watching